Hello, welcome to a new episode of Creating on the Couch with me, Claudia, with Claudia Rossi Studios. Um, sorry, the whole video is going to be voiceover because um, there's always people in my living room, so when I'm creating on the couch, it is noisy noisy, so I can't talk to you guys while I'm working because um, there's always a dog barking or the TV on or somebody making a sandwich in the kitchen, so it's just noisy, so um, I'm going to be recording all this as we go. I'm working on a sketch, oh, look here, I'm showing you my cart right here, it's right next to me within easy reach to get to my supplies and I'll be working on this girl that I sketched while at my desk in my studio and then I'm just doing the um, really quick shading with a color pencil and then I'll in tone over top of that but I like to do the sketches at my table because it's easier for me to draw at my table than it is on my lap but it's not impossible, as you saw from my last Creating on the Couch episode one. It, I did. I did draw the girl while I was sitting on the couch. So it is possible. So if you're stuck on the couch or stuck in bed, it, it, it is possible to do it. So don't let the fact that I start with a already drawn out sketch stop you. So I am going to take a little while here to sh uh, shade, do the pencil shading, and paint my girl. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to leave you with some lovely uh, life royalty free music. And if you are interested in learning how I draw and paint faces, please take a look at my workshop. It I will put a link down in the description of this video so that you can go into it, check it out. Um, it's a pretty good workshop. People are happy. I just recently added some more material, so it's um, over three hours of video now, mostly in real time, showing you how I draw, shade, and paint my pretty girl faces. So if you're interested, take a look. Otherwise, enjoy the music, and I'll be back in a little bit. start working on the background while I let the skin tone 
dry before I move on with the face. So what I'm doing is a technique using ink tense pencils and I'm going to color around with those and then instead of using water to activate them, I'm going to be using gesso. This is a technique that I saw on a YouTube video and it looked really cool and I was excited to try it. Um, I can't remember whose video I was watching, but she um, quoted or gave a shout out to Jane Davenport for uh, having the technique on her video first. So shout out to Jane Davenport, her her technique here of using the gesso to activate the ink tense pencils. Ink tense, I haven't used ink tense pencils. They're pretty cool. You should give them a try if you can. They go on like a traditional water, um, like a traditional color pencil. And then when you activate them with water, they get really bright, vibrant ink colors and once they have been activated and turn into ink once they dry they are then permanent so you don't have to worry about going over them again with more water soluble or more wet more wet mediums you can go over them after they're dry so those are kind of a cool thing about them they're going to be a lot more muted and soft done here with the gesso if you did this with watercolor pencils instead you're probably going to get something that's super super pale and pastel because watercolor pencils don't get the really bright vibrant colors like the ink tents do when they get wet so mixing them with the white gesso here you just get kind of a lighter color and in some of this I'm going to be using a little bit of straight um water and I think really to get the ink really bright but I really am loving the way that this looks in the hair and you get the I don't know like the icy purple look with the white and the purple through it and I really like it and I, I like it enough I'm going to try it again on another page and I'll show you later I did it with a turquoise and this ice blue hair looks amazing um at least as good as this purple does so I'm going to work on that for a little while I'm just getting the gesso and the ink tense pencils on there until I like the way that it looks.
I'm all done with the pretty girl and I'm all done with the background and it's very pastel <clears throat> and what I like with pastel is black. I love black and the light colors so I'm going to and I'm trying to keep this simple. This is my creating on the couch and I don't want to I don't want to go crazy. I just want to have like fun with my journal with creating on the couch. This is that really inexpensive Fabriano journal that I showed you guys. Um, right here what I'm doing is just putting down some washi tape. It is white tape with washi tape with some writing and some holes. I mean, it's Tim Holtz. I'm not 100% sure. But I wanted to get some washi tape down just for something different. And then I'm doodling with black ink. I just think that's just, I don't know. I love the black with the It just, it makes me happy. So I'm doodling some hearts and then I'm done. I'm going to splatter some ink around here and I'm going to be done with her. I, like I said, I wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um, not take too terribly long. I am just hanging out on the couch watching TV. So... I, I like her. I like her and I like her with the black. I think she needed it. So I hope you like it and you'll tune in for more creating on the couch soon.